So Blue Lagoon Island, a favorite spot for people visiting on a cruise, is open again. This comes after the island took a close look at its safety policies, staff training, and equipment maintenance because of a tragic event in November 2023 where one person unfortunately lost their life. Now to the investigation of the Bahamas after an American tourist died in a ferry accident. This morning we're hearing from one of the other passengers. Eva Pilgrim has the story. Our boat is sinking. This morning, horror at sea. The death of an American tourist now under investigation after a Colorado woman died in a Bahamas boating accident. Everybody's freaking out. More than 100 people on this double-decker ferry Tuesday morning en route to the popular Blue Lagoon Island when it began taking on water. Everybody was freaking out. It was kind of fend for yourself. <laughs> Kelly Shizzle recording this video showing the boat leaning to one side. I was on the side that started to sink. So that's when we realized, oh, this probably isn't good. And then a, a crew member ran up the stairs to the top level and grabbed herself a life jacket and she was crying and freaking out. Passengers jumping into the water. As nearby boaters rushed to the scene, pulling people on board and taking them to the nearest dock. I ended up getting on a random fisherman's boat. He turned his boat around to come try and help. A 74-year-old woman dying in the accident found in the water unresponsive. Authorities say they performed CPR, but she did not survive. The morning of the accident, the water choppy. A weather alert for hazardous sea conditions with wind gusts due to a nearby front. In light of the incident, Blue Lagoon Island has gone above and beyond conducting additional training sessions beyond the required exercises to ensure maximum safety for all visitors. Now with a big focus on keeping things safe, Blue Lagoon Island is excited to have people come and enjoy its clear waters, fun wildlife experiences, snorkeling, and of course, relaxing beach days. This reopening comes more than two months after rough waves caused a tour excursion boat to partially capsize and sink en route to the island. Following the incident on November 14, 2023, Blue Lagoon Island promptly closed its doors for review procedures and inspections. Additionally, Royal Caribbean International suspended all shore excursions to the island as they guessed who lost her life had been aboard a Royal Caribbean ship. Now, after undergoing extensive inspections and reviews of its fleet of vessels, excursion policies, and staff training protocols, Blue Lagoon Island has received approval for reopening from the Bahamas Port Authority. Robert Meister, Managing Director of Blue Lagoon Island, emphasizes the destination's commitment to safety, stating, and I quote, our hearts and thoughts steadfastly remain with those impacted by the incident in November 2023. At Blue Lagoon Island, we prioritize safety and look forward to continue welcoming visitors to our beautiful island. Before opening up again for the holiday season, all of the island workers went through extra safety training, showing that Blue Lagoon is serious about making sure everyone has a good and safe time. Now, this island is a short ferry ride from the cruise port. And with NASA seeing record numbers of cruise visitors, destinations like Blue Lagoon Island play a crucial role providing incredible opportunities for guests who like to enjoy their shore excursions. In fact, just last year, I took that very same boat to Blue Lagoon. I'll link a video up top that covers the entire experience if you want to know more. But apart from offering shore excursions, Blue Lagoon Island is also actively involved in educational experiences and local conservation efforts aimed at preserving the natural beauty and biodiversity of Bahamas. Now, even though the island is open, some cruise companies might wait a bit longer before sending people over as they do their own safety checks. But with the official OK from the Bahamas authorities, it shouldn't be long before cruises start offering trips to Blue Lagoon Island again. Now, what do you think? Is it too soon for the island to be open or is it the right time for visitors to return? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.